Right, I'm going to put a diesel heater in the house. I've got one here in the workshop, which works really well. Um, I've got a separated one, one of these, um, and it's going to go in this box. And then it's going to have this end here for the for the air intake. And it's going to have at the other end a ankle piece. And an interesting thing is how I thought we were going to get that into the bottom of the tank. So I drilled a hole in here and you can put a bit of string through and then pull it through. Which I struggled thinking about, to be honest, how to do it. I couldn't get that. You can't get your hand actually in the tank, so that's the easiest way to do it. Um, this heater then, oh, let's get it out of here. We'll go in here, this way around. Like that, the tank will go slip down the back, and it slips down there. The, um, what else we've got, the exhaust, which is here, that'll go through here, and on to the bottom here, and then that'll be out the back here, so that's around here, uh, blowing away from the vent. So, We've got a bit to do yet, but uh, there's the transformer, which I think is uh, probably going to go just there. And let's have a look. The, we've got the fuel line to come in down the back to under here, and um, there's got a breather. Where's the breather? There's the breather. So that's the that's the breather. So that'll connect underneath as well down there and sit. I think probably down the back there. Mm, I might stick it this side actually, somewhere there. Perhaps there. There's a lot of alter alternative places to put it. Uh, so let's put the tank in. And that'll do for today, and we'll start again tomorrow. It's ready to go at the back of the house. Um, I've had to take this mesh off here, which uh, stops all the rubbish going in. So I'll put a bit of this inside here, and then this will go on the end there. That's the directional one. A bit of this. Uh, cellar tape. Well, it's in it's uh, heat proof. Is on there. That goes. It's the right size. Um, this one. These angles are what's going to um, take the pipe. This pipe to go up to the house. Um, so it fits there. Okay. These ends are a little big. Um, so you will have to, if you do it this way, you have to trim this. Cut put a few V's in it, trim it down to go inside that, then you can tape it over. Um, the tank's on a bit of a slant because um, when you drill into the bottoms, you either drill here or here where the best the best pieces are to drill, nice and thick. Um, so you want a bit of a slant to let all the rubbish, if there is any, in your diesel down to the bottom. Filters here, important which way around it goes. Um, you can probably see which way that is, it's coming from the tank. And then it goes up to the pump, which is difficult to see because it's right at the back there. But it's on its angle, which it should be on an angle. And then that goes from there and back round to here. And it goes in the bottom of the heater. 
exhaust out there. I've trimmed the top end of that a bit so you can push it up a bit further so you've got a, a bit less going down to the bottom here so it's a bit higher up. Uh, steel plate on there and then a bit trimmed off to go in the end there. Um, just bent round and pushed in the hole. Screwed on there, a bracket there for the exhaust. Both the connections I've got a bit of gum gum in to seal them. The air vents up here for the heater. And then the transformer is here. You can slide in, slide in and out. I've got the electrics to do on it yet, but they'll go out the back and into the house. There's a simple front, which will go on there. And then, hopefully, a waterproof top, which will go on there like that. So, and a couple of carrying handles. So we're getting there. All we need now is to get the electric sorted. I'll have to extend those to get into the house. And I shall have the box. The um, This box actually mounted inside the house. So I've got to extend the cable a bit. Um, these are the bends. Obviously one fits right, it's 75mm. Uh, the other one I've got to trim to get it inside there. So they're off uh, the usual eBay. There wasn't enough clips, but uh, I've ordered some more. I think they're 70, 70 to 90s. Uh, Four Jubilees, 90s, this AMS 90s, but I think they're 70 to 90, so they should fit. Um, that I've not used, but it's obviously a two direction thing to go on the pipes if you need to. I bought these, um, but I've not used them. They're for in, inside the house, I can't use one, I suppose, inside the house, and I may do. Uh, just stop the wind coming through, I suppose, if it does, I don't know whether it was or not. So, we're about there. Just got to get it mounted up and ready for winter. Uh, my other one is up here on the garage or the workshop wall and that works great. That's just exhausting out there underneath at the back of the workshop. So that's all work for this time. I thought I'd build it myself out of one of these kits. I think it was £86, something like that. So it's not a bad buy. I think these. this was only about, I think this was much more than about 10 or 12 pounds, this one. Um, 30 amps, I think it is. Is it 30 amps? Ooh. There we go, that's what model it is. So it is 12 volts, 30 amps. So hopefully that'll be all right. That's what the other one's running with. Um, a bit of a shelf there. A bit of a shelf just to stop any diesel dribble down there onto the transformer that uh, hopefully it doesn't go that far back. So I've just got to get that on, sort the electrics and then we'll have a test run with it. Okay, thank you. Well, there it is all in situ. I've just got to do some cement work around there and clean that up. I might sort of extend the exhaust a bit away from here. Um, I did put two crocodile clips on here. They've just got a bit of rubber bike tube on to insulate them in case they touch anything. Uh, then I can always use those if we get a power I've got. I'll just pop them onto a battery at the, at the side there. Um, just use these filters to filter the diesel in. Any rubbish in it, they're just paint filters from the you know paint shops. Um, seems to be running okay. Uh, temperature's going up in the kitchen. We're gonna have a look at that. This is the outlet in the kitchen, and it's nice and Toasty and warm now. It's only on 21 degrees, which is three bars on there. So all in all, it's been pretty, pretty successful. 
Yeah, that's the front uh, fitted on. And uh, uh, this is the top to go on. So, all in all, we're about done. Pretty brilliant. I hope it lasts a long while. We'll see how it goes anyway in the future. Okay, quick update on the heater. Um, it's not been on, it's got a fault on it. I didn't realise it's got a fault on it when I put it in. Um, it's cold, it's not on. As you can see, the power light's not on down the bottom and it's not switched on so the fan's not running. If we go inside, see the power's not on. If I switch the power on, you can probably see that the fan icon's on and it doesn't show it running. Now it's running constantly all the time, even when this is powered down. Uh, so if we go back outside and have a look. You'll probably see the red power lights on down the bottom on the tr uh, transformer and you can hear the fan running. It's not right. It's probably something simple like the temperature sensor in the top there. It's only a, a small thing but you know why should I fix it? Um, so it's going back. Uh, eBay were really good. The people who supplied it were absolute rubbish. Message after message in broken English most of the time. Um, but I shall I shall strip it down today, pull it out, and it can go back. I say eBay were very good about it. They said send it back and they'll refund it um, through the people. So they've sent a postage label for that to go. So it'll be going back today. I'm a bit disappointed it's going back, but I will get another one and put in there because they are brilliant. Uh, when they're working, that is. <laughs> so there we go. That's the update on the end.